Amigos, what's up? Here we are, Money Making Mondays. We're at it again, quick irrigation fix. The irrigation valve shutoff was broken from underneath. I guess it was a faulty brand or somebody didn't use the right kind. Could have been a sink one, so check it out. So I already cut the gate valve here and or the shutoff valve and we had to do about two feet to the right and then I should add a cup, coupling and make it to where it's supposed to be but it doesn't really matter where it's at it still has room if it breaks again they still have room to do that extension then so the less parts it has to leak the longer it'll last you know so I could have made it a three position fix but I cut it down to two like that hopefully it doesn't leak so fast again but this valve it pretty leaked because there's too much pressure coming in you know in these homes if you don't have a regulator or this is after the regulator you know so it's not getting regulated and has the full pressure going on the whole time so it makes your valves actually you know blow up faster that one of the valves is leaking um, and that's just due because it has too much pressure nothing's regulating the pressure you know so sometimes people don't uh, notice things like that and things can go wrong so you got to make sure that you're able to do things so there you see me put a coupling and then the gate valve has another coupler on the other side so I cut the piece about two two inches longer than what it should be <clears throat> I go ahead and glue and then I'm able to just try it again you know reposition myself put glue on the sides I think I had a little crack so I recut it again just to make sure you know you always got to cut your ends so they don't they're not straight or if they're slanted you know you want a straight cut so sometimes I had to make sure and things like that so we glue on both ends this is three-quarter pipe you don't have to use primer I use plenty glue <laughs> some people say man you just need a little glue yeah well uh, I'm not using primer you're not supposed to but you know just in case I put enough glue and I would just give it a quarter turn and I push it in because sometimes that cape out will push your pipe back out so as it dries one or two seconds later push it back in and that'll give you the resistance that you need there you know so on the right side I'm cutting right on the coupler maybe about a quarter inch shorter than the coupler in order to be able to make my pipe cut there but I ran into a little problem you know I had to start digging a little to be able to bend the pipe up and not have to use a quick fix like most people usually use they go with the quick fix instead of fixing things right so right here we found a couple extra pipes and things like that I'll show you at the end how we found the pipes and how we got it replaced so right there I had to keep digging I failed at the first one so you know I had to give it a good chunk and I got to make sure I don't throw the dirt right back into where I'm dealing you can see the glue right there the excess glue that I use is probably you know not too good so I'm, dig my finger out in there and put it out but most of the time it does all right you know the glue just dissolves out but we don't use too much so we're okay and you see me here just digging it out and able to able to bend it now I can bend it up and down and be able to have that push that I need to just glue it in so I match it first before I glue if not you'll be stuck with glue on both ends and you don't want to be stuck doing that either man it, it kind of sucks so there you have it and just go from there I'll show you a picture of what it looks like at the end and how we got it fixed right here I also make sure that I hold it pressure down so it doesn't release or it dries give it a couple seconds to dry so thank you for watching this quick irrigation fix I hope it helps you any questions remember I consider myself an irrigation specialist I've done it plenty of times and we're pretty good so Here's the end. Everything looked good. We made the place look a little better. The gate valve was a little back, but it looks good. You know, so we put all the bricks back. Here's your area here. The bottom piece just blew off. Too much pressure or a cheap valve. So I'll take you to the next video. Thanks. Amigos, what's up? So here's the next cleanup. You know, we already started. Um, Paola was already pulling these weeds in the front. They were a little scattered not too much you know all around the curb or well they did good they had good coverage underneath these rocks you know they're a little thinner dust settled already so they did good and they have good cover here too they had a lot of leaves um you don't can't tell a big difference when i blow you know they still leaves are small and there, there wasn't enough so i was cutting this oleander here we we're gonna cut from the top it's pretty big um you weren't able to see how much i cut 
but I didn't do too much. We're gonna be hedging it later with the ones on the other side. So this is while they shed, you know, and this is another California home, you know, they just, things don't grow out. Not every customer wants grass, you know, or not every customer wants to pay for water. You know, some people just don't want a lawn. You know, and there it is, you know, these oleanders probably for privacy, real nice, always kept, no water, and here it is. This is crabgrass or Bermuda on the other side. Um, you know, we shovel this, I don't get it all, but I mostly shovel. We don't weed whack here, you know, it's pointless to keep weed whacking. Out here, customers want weeds gone, you know, so in California, it's different. You know, the better you are at keeping things clear, the more business you have. So it's awesome. Check it out. I did this by the um, shovel only. I missed a couple areas you'll see at the end, but let's get to it. All right, Bella, so here you have it. We didn't mark a big difference, but it wasn't too bad. She said she had another gardener that wasn't delivering what he promised, and she had us write a statement of what we were gonna do so we can make sure we comply and keep it together. So this is why we're gonna be starting a contract, you know? Like that people know what they're paying for and how it's gonna work. And it's just because we're growing and customers are coming in fast. So check out how square I left it. I just used my long extension pole, and I'm gonna be hedging it once it gets filled up. I didn't cut the bottom they want more privacy get it a little thick so we walked to the back where me and paola either hula hold or shovel most of it she raked a lot of the areas you can tell the weeds are all gone and some of the areas that we missed will grow you could tell the you can tell that they'll get bigger and thicker and that when we come back they'll be right there smiling at us so we did great you know we finished this in about an hour and a half possibly two i didn't even mark the time you know i didn't make any time lapses or anything like that so keeping these weeds gone is what we're supposed to do here you'll see me crouch down here because we missed one you know sometimes if you if you see it pull it you know and it's the biggest thing you know you gotta be able to see it i mean if you see it don't you think the customer is gonna see it thanks for watching the video all right thanks for everybody that watches we will be doing our raffle soon and our first live stream so please if you still want to enter you still have a chance by commenting on videos that have zero comments so there you go get there and get into the raffle before it's too late and we hope to see all of you guys in our first live stream we will be telling you our day where you'll be having a talk with the entrepreneurs and we'll be doing the raffle and just question and answers about how many years we've been in business and all the businesses we run thank you